So I work as a theater artist independently and, uh, and as the artistic director of Teatro Americano, a, a, a program and company of Latinos Progresando, which is an immigration rights and advocacy organization. I think a lot of the, the reasons why I choose to work here are because of, um, are, are, I mean, are, are really obvious because it's been, you know, the mecca for, for, for Mexican American and Latino immigrants. I think to be an artist in Pilsen at this point is pretty exciting because there's such a large artist community, and and at the, and it's a you know it's an artist community that exists as you know as, as any urban artist community with you know with a, with a certain type of diversity and and uh, eclectic individuals. So it's one of the things that's uh, that's pretty exciting to be in conversation uh, with them and, and, and to and to kind of create work, um, you know, uh, uh, to kind of create work. That, that is a part of that. I mean, I, I guess one of the ways that I define myself is like is as a is as an artist, and, and although I work primarily in, in theater, um, you know, I've I've always grown up. I think artists use what they need. And one of the things that that, that that I know is, you know, I'm not just, I'm not limited to just kind of, uh, um, you know, stage work or or, or, or that and that. Um, you know, I, I also make artwork. I, I, so in the same way that I feel like a lot of stage a lot of my stage work has been focused on uh, providing space and, and and to facilitate stories that are that often go um, unheard. A lot of my printmaking, photography, and image making is surrounded around um, putting, putting within a frame the, the things that, that go unseen, uh, particularly uh, with, within the, the communities and, and places that, that I come from. A lot of my work is really politically charged and, 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 and uh, socially oriented. But the cost of living in these parts has never just been relegated to rents. No, people that have filled these blocks of brick and concrete boxes on boxes have paid. They have paid with working hours, washing plates for pennies. They have paid with their children bought by bullets, shot stray or straight on by cops or shirtless gangbangers. They have paid with equality on these streets, where dead end refers to a diamond-shaped painted yellow aluminum sign, but also to jobs, hospitals, schools, sometimes just life. Nothing about living here has ever been cheap for us. As an actor, I'm kind of really dedicated to work that proposes a new way of being. And, and what I mean by that, when we look at, if we were to sit down and talk about all the things that, that are wrong with society, um, racism, sexism, um, uh, exploitation, the, the hierarchies of, of haves and have nots, winners and losers. Um, a lot of the, the, the work that I do is, is based on trying to, to, re, to reverse that stuff. A lot of the stuff that, uh, that, that I do with my youth is, is about unlearning uh, the, the things that, that they've been taught, and not just in, in classrooms, um, but also the, the uh, the, the, the lack of expectations for them to succeed. The, we use all non-hierarchical collaborative processes. Uh, you know, it's not me telling kids what to say and how to say it and where to stand. Uh, a lot of it's about them figuring out the work themselves. It's not, it's not me deciding how the plot goes and how the story goes. A lot of it's about, you know, uh, about us sitting in a room and figuring it out together. So then, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you mean finally I can have some, uh, Ooh, or you know what I mean? Like, find that like, you have some, some clients with bigger pockets? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold Clients with deeper pockets? Wait, condo? You mean client? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Clients? Condos Condo? equals clients Condo? with deeper like, pockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you look at, at performers on stage, one of the things that I always tell the, the youth that I work with is I want to see gods or animals. Queen, I'm a beauty queen, eh? No quiero decir que es borracha sin hogar. And you should talk, eh? Little prosy. Ay, ¿Alguien tiene chicle? Chicle! Did someone say chicle? Pero pobre chicle! Oh, you know what I'm talking about? The 3 foot 11 inch powerhouse from Morelia? The one who bit the ankles of many great wrestlers? Pero pobre chicle! Fuck! Como un globo! 
during the tragic road accident of 89. I never found another sidekick or someone to tickle the back of my kneecaps. Okay. I'm sure I could be your sidekick. We can practice every day. I can tickle the back of your kneecaps too. I'll wrestle men in the ring, <laughs> on the line, for the bathroom. Seeing uh, the potential of young people that hasn't been tended to um, in this neighborhood the way it has been in other places in this city. This idea of, of, of an intergenerational conversation and not just you know with the work you know with, with creating theater and what do how, how can young people forward that um, but also with how we are as a people and as a society and how can young people forward that. The, of the ten young people that we're working with uh, that, that comprise our youth ensemble um, a year ago uh, several of them had not had diplomas, had not been uh, in, involved in higher education, had not been employed, um, you know, and all of them are, are working in school, in college, uh, finishing school, and um, and so it's really it's really rewarding to, to see that, uh, that 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 development amongst young people and to see them. Um, you know, maximizing their, their potential and, or, or wor wor working towards it. Basically, he's all like, well, if you want to teach, I can help you teach. Ah, and so I was like, all right, I'll teach. And uh, basically this fall, me and him are going to have a project called a Concrete Theater Project um, at, at Bonito Juarez at the school program. So, so I like the way uh, Ricky works, like with us, because it's, um, there's a lot of freedom involved in, when it comes to writing and speaking your mind and it's stuff that we talk about that normal people, well not normal people, people really don't want to get out there. So I feel like with him we have that freedom. I'm going to tell you the damn truth. <laughs> He's a damn craze. A disaster. And everything about him is just crazy but um... I mean I just, I admire his work ethic. He's a workaholic and he's just running around like he could be all, at all four points of Chicago at one time, like within the hour or like the next two hours. And Overall, I think he, I sort of like his personality. No, well, not sort of, but I like his personality. But I, what I meant to say is like, I see myself like, um, you know when you see somebody and then you like, we kind of think at the same level, well, that's something I would do. Well, one of the reasons why I work with Ricardo is because um, practically almost everything he says to me has came true. Like he told me I was going to teach with, with ASM and uh, you know, he promised me like a bunch of stuff as long as I work hard and I see I see that work ethic within him and it's like he can play around from now and then but like when it's time to like get to work he cracks down. You know? Interacting with it made me realize that I could do something for my community through the arts.